welcome back to Hopescope. Oh, wait, you're heavy. Oh, my foot's cramping. Or if this is your first time here, hello, I'm Hope You're Legging Queen. This is my co-host, Leo. We're your number one source for all things fit fashion. And this week, I was going to review for you Mina Sportswear. How about a, I spontaneously booked Tyler and I a trip to New York this weekend? So we're gonna bring this with us. <laughs> Mina Sportswear is an activewear company that was started by a really cute Venice girl on Instagram that I've been following for like years. Her first name's Valentina. I'm not even gonna try to say her last name. She was always repping the cutest stuff. And then suddenly, not only did she come out with her own activewear line, because everybody's coming out with their own activewear line, but she came out with the spiciest, most unique designs. <laughs> so we're gonna see if they're any good to actually work out in. I hope my hotel has a gym. Anyway, that's what's happening today. See you in New York. Tyler. <laughs> Made it to New York. Whoa. So I think that that last video I did, the Takara one, kind of set me up for this. If it weren't for that video, I think I would have seen all of the shiny fabric and been a little worried. But I know that I liked the Takara version of it, so hopefully I like this stuff just as much. Literally every single thing is made from the shiny. Oh, except these. These aren't shiny. That's good gonna be a problem. So I got a small on all the leggings and a medium in all the shorts. So there are two types of leggings. The Evitas, which are just a simple high-waisted legging with this crisscross waistband. Those come in for Tilia, Black, and Arena. And then these are the leggings I'm excited about. They're the Tango leggings. I think they come in black as well, but I have the Rose and the Frutilia, and they have this lace-up detail on both of the sides with a very sheer white mesh under it. And then there are two shorts. The first ones are the Vermont short. They have that same crisscross waistband, and then they have these mesh strips on the bottom of both legs. Oh, it's stretchy. And then the Fuego shorts. Crisscross waistband, and then these have a fun little asymmetric stripe guy on the bottom. Okay, the only option is a regular bra and this dingy t-shirt I've been wearing for two days. I actually love this t-shirt a lot, but like I said, I've just been wearing it for two days. So it'll be fine. Okay, I'm thinking these shorts will look cute with the white top, and then when we're out shopping, I'll pick something else to go with the leggings. I think these might be the comfy shorts I've ever put on in my life. And look how little they make my waist look. Wow, these are so fun. They're super high-waisted. Oh, it's like a fake out. <laughs> there's like a regular high waist and then there's just these cross details. I like this little detail though. And I like that it goes all the way around. It's like my biggest pet peeve when there's a cute design on something and then it stops at the seam. Let's just squat test them. Everything just popped. <laughs> Did it pass? Yeah, definitely. All right, and then we're gonna have to wear my Steve Maddens that are definitely not made for the gym. <laughs> Why am I so unprepared? Tyler, do you wanna show me your outfit of the day? Flex fit shirt, which by the way, these are like my favorite shirts. They just like, it's old, but it just won't wear out for some reason. Um, They're actually rebranding to KLX fit. <laughs> got the Under Armour shorts, got the Ditas. We look very red, white, and blue festive today. <laughs> So we have two options. They actually have a really nice gym. They have this interactive studio thing. It's like a movie theater workout room. <laughs> That's what I really want to do. Hey, what do you want to do? Abs? Yeah, let's do 12 minute abs. Look, there she is, Nora Tobin on the big screen. This is so cool. Wait, Nora, I'm not ready. Wait. They have Peloton bikes in here too. Headed into Times Square to try to find a workout top for me for tomorrow. So nice outside. Yeah, it's perfect weather. I'm gonna see what H&M has to offer me as far as activewear. Three floors and no activewear. What store doesn't have activewear? Maybe it's just a Western thing because in all of our stores, the first thing you see when you walk in is the activewear. Maybe we're all just lazy when it comes to fashion. So that's why it's the thing where I'm from, but that's 
so weird to me. I think we're gonna try Forever 21. Active, I think we have to go down another floor. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Ooh, that's cute. Um, This is just really fun and different and I think I need it in my life. Okay, I think I found some winners. You can be in it. You. <laughs> hey Hope, I found this. This is how you would wear it, like this. I did it a lot. Um, I need your help. Okay. Should I do the nude and orange outfit or black and red? Um, orange. Testing out the Evita leggings today. Um, bad news, not squat proof. There's the tag. In other words, I guess it's not leg day today. <laughs> also, we have an issue. Oh, I just love this gym so much. I'll have to try the black ones on when I get back to the room and see if they're this bad. <laughs> I doubt it. I think it's mostly the color. The other thing is these are small, so maybe a medium would have been better in this color. Okay, here's the black version. I feel like they're much more flattering. Whoa! That's cool. The nude ones didn't have that mesh piece. Am I thinking uh, like an 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10? <laughs> they're the same fabric, they just have the glossy finish over them, but I think it's just the color that makes them more squat proof. <laughs> co-host and I have one more legging from this brand I want to try this little lace-up number okay here's the thing with these underwear so I'm gonna go get a strappy underwear to wear under these and see if you can kind of hide them behind these straps here or if they show I want to go red Fendi sports bra look kind of cool I think I'll just go my strong physiques Wow, these are cool. These are definitely my favorite so far. They have that glossy finish, perfect amount of compression. Okay, now to pick a top. Welcome to my activewear boutique. Um, I'm gonna go with this little crop top from One, and that's the outfit. My stomach has been really upset. So I'm not gonna go too hard in the gym today. I think I'm just gonna do some cardio and we'll see how I like these babies. I am getting a little bit of camel toe, but it's not as bad as the nude ones. And then this keeps peeking out. Flip it to the nude side, maybe that'll look better. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Definitely recommend wearing a nude underwear with these. I changed into my Joe Brown t-shirt because I wanted to be comfy. I have to go to the gym and I'll see you in a little bit. He gets so sad when he gets left. Be a good dog, okay? Got a good sweat at the gym. I can't believe nobody said anything. It literally looks like I cracked my head open. It's just my hair dye because I got my hair done yesterday. Looking good. <laughs> anyway, about the leggings. Similar to the shorts, they show sweat, but not bad and they dry pretty fast. Yeah, like it took us seven minutes to get home and they're already dry. I look ridiculous and I don't have any pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish this video, shall we? All right, these leggings and all of them are very high-waisted, which I love because I'm tall and I have a long torso. So if you are a short gal or guy, I mean, we don't discriminate around here, you might not like that. They were really good length on me. I was having an issue with this front seam in most of the items, but when I wore underwear with them, I didn't really notice it. I really love this design, but like I said, to pull it off, you'll probably want no underwear or nude underwear. Also, at the top of the leggings, I guess you could see my dark song a little bit. So they're crack proof, but they're not quite dark underwear proof. Overall, the fabric is awesome. Very functional, very much a performance fabric. Very, very stretchy. And I'm just impressed. I would definitely recommend this clothing line, especially for it being their first collection. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm excited to see what else they come out with. As always, if you have any brands or products that you'd love to see me review, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And Leo and I will see you in the next video. Say bye, YouTube. We're going on a vacation. So Tyler has no idea where we're going. We're going to C5. New York City. <laughs> this is going to be the best. This is like a tart thing with popcorn and marshmallow.